everyone. Welcome to Curious Adarsh. Reading and by hearting a book alone will not be considered as proper knowledge. A person has to be smart, clever and should use his or her presence of mind in any situation would be considered as a greatest knowledge. Let's see this with a story of a greatest wit, Tanali Rama's Tilakhasta Mahisha Bandhu. A great pundit visited Vijayanagara kingdom. He was a scholar in reasoning, logic and grammar. He had won the admiration of learned men all over India. He had come to challenge the pundits in the court of King Krishnadevaraya to face him in a debate. The scholars in Vijayanagara were reluctant to face this pundit they felt they were no match to the pundit in scholarship but the king would be annoyed if they refused to accept the challenge one of them said let us speak to raman surely he will find a solution the pundits called on raman and explained the situation Raman assured them that he could take on the challenger. All the seven among the Ashtadigjas were tense with reputation. They heard about Pandit, about his command and expertise in logic, reasoning and grammar. Pandit's name is taken with care and respect as he defeated those personalities who were graded to be aces in the division of literature the next day the pandit presented himself in the court with all preparation alasani peddanna nandi timmanna ramaraja bhushanudu madaya gari mallana durjati ayala raju rama badrudu batu murti and tenali ramakrishna besides full house attendants to watch the competition fill the bhuvana vijayam the court of shri krishna devaraya was known as bhuvana vijayam and was adorned by eight great poets for one day you must accept me as the chief pandit raman said the other pandits readily agreed the next day the pandits carried raman in a palanquin to the palace hall Raman and the challenger sat facing each other two pandits carrying a huge bundle wrapped in silken cloth entered the hall they placed the bundle next to raman and bowed to him raman placed his hand on the bundle next to him we can begin the debate discussing the merits of tilakashta mahishabandanam said raman pandit asked Tilakashta? What? Raman said, Tilakashta Mahisha Bandhanam. Haven't you read this book earlier? Assuming that this standard book would be helpful for our debate and discussion, I brought this along. The other pundit was taken aback. He had read thousands of scholarly works in Sanskrit. but he had never heard of this work mentioned by raman if he had not even read anything about it how could he discuss the merits of this work the pandit conceded defeat and quietly left the palace raman king asked recite to the court some good contents of the book you brought along tilakashta mahishabandhanam to the court Raman laughed and said, "With all due respects to the king, it is that you also mistook this bundle to be a book. Look at this!" And opened the bundle. Again, there was hilarity in the court, as it was not a book but a tender sesame plant tied with rain rope for buffaloes. Both were fastened in a nice cloth. Looking at the contents of the bundle, there was amusement for the courtiers and onlookers. Raman 
Tilakashtam explains. Tilakashtam means a sesame plant and Mahisha Bandhanam means a rope used for tying a buffalo. Both put together, Tilakashtam Mahisha Bandhanam. That is it all. No standards and no books. The pundit fell into dilemma on hearing this name. He did not try to take the title and think. In all confusion, he fled the city. King Sri Krishna Devaraya appreciated in intellect of Rama and felicitated him for protecting the reputation of Bhumana Vijaya. Thank you. This is how our hero Tenali saved Bhuvana Vijayam with his presence of mind and intelligence. Hope you all like the story. Bye.